coverage you can count on continues with Drew Blair. Their fall activities so many kids look forward to with their parents hunting and fishing. And one group helps give kids those adventures who otherwise might not have the chance to. It's called Hunt of a Lifetime. And joining me now to talk a little bit more about the organization is the president and founder, Tina Pattison, and a participant of the program, Jason Wright. Thank you both so much for being here this morning. You're welcome. Yeah. Tina, what is Hunt of a Lifetime? We take uh, children 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and send them on their hunting and or fishing wish. Wow. We call them dreams so that we don't get mixed up with make-a-wish. So it's hunting and fishing dreams. And Jason, you benefited from this. I hear you went to New Zealand through uh, this program? Yes, I did. Wow, that had to be incredible. It, uh, it, it was a trip like no other. So it, it, was, um, it, it was a different experience. I mean, not a lot of people get to travel a lot, but traveling outside of the United States is, it's interesting. And what did you do there? Uh, I went and hunt uh, red stag. It's um, like a really, really, really big deer. Okay. That's the best way I can describe it. Did you get anything? Oh yeah. I, uh, I got a 16-point uh, red stag, um, one shot, 180 yards. My guide was shocked. Wow, that's so, great. Great memories from that, I'm sure. Excellent memories. Tina, why did this program begin? Did you start it yourself? Yeah, I started it back in 1999. I had a son that was um, diagnosed with a curable cancer, but it was a rare type, so it was hard to keep cured. And he had gone into um, a second remission and then came out of that and needed a stem cell transplant. And when he needed the stem cell transplant, I had already lost a mother to <coughs> the same cancer. I'd asked him what he would like to do, and he said, um, moose hunt in Canada with Dad. So I went to the other nonprofit organization, and they're no longer doing hunts or fishing trips because of the pressure they got. So I said to him, I said, well, who'd you go through? Just tell me where your lead was. I'll take the lead and go with it. And I did, and I went with it. And Matt went out in um, October 6th of 1998, and then unfortunately passed away April of 1999. So when he passed away, I says, you know what? I shoot a bow, I hunt, I fish, I camp. I do all those outdoor activities that boys like a mom to do. And I thought, boy, if there's a mom out there that doesn't do this type of stuff, and they're dealing with the same child wish that my son had, they're not gonna necessarily know what to do like I did. So I wanted to start this in Matthew's mem memory. I call it Matthew's legacy and um, start making other kids' dreams come true that had a hunting or fishing dream. Yeah, that's and fantastic. that's where we're at. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but I didn't want to wrap this up without, real quickly, how can people get involved and learn more about this? Uh, our website's www.huntofalifetime.org, all one word, or they can call the toll-free number, 866-345-4455. Okay, thank you both so much thank for being you. here this morning. We appreciate it.